as hot as it gets the applications of artificial intelligence in almost every field is evident is happening and why should biopharma industry be left behind if the cases of drug discovery which saves mankind years ago i had predicted that biopharma industry will be able to discover more than 10000 molecules per year and that's happening already biopharma industry is extensively applying and implementing artificial intelligence algorithms using big data to do better drug discovery research so in today's video i am going to tell you four approaches which the biopharma industry is using and if you are interested in bio and pharma research i think this video is going to be very useful for you now let's start with the first approach which is large scale analysis of data now as we all know uh, biological systems and all the experiments which we conduct in our lab generates a lot of data now human mind cannot collate so many of data points and come to a conclusion but biopharma industry in collaboration with various other companies like accenture are designing ai algorithms which can analyze large amounts of data large amounts of biological data including genomics proteomics metabolomics data and they can use that to identify potential drug targets and develop newer drugs basically they are designing ai algorithm and now they are using the proteomics genomics and metabolomics data to analyze that so large scale data analysis is one big approach which the biopharma companies are implementing in 2023 the second one which they are using is called as predictive modeling now what is predictive modeling predictive modeling is where artificial intelligence and machine learning comes together and it is used to predict the efficiency effectiveness of a drug moiety or candidate and based on its uh, chemical uh, structure based on its side effects and based on other properties of that particular uh, drug molecule they try to predict the pharmacological effects of this drug they even try to look at the dextro and levo uh, or the various uh, stereochemical impact spe- stereochemistry impact of this particular drug molecule on the body so predictive modeling is also one big approach which biopharma companies are using today in drug discovery right they are able to analyze if a uh, stereochemistry uh, of a particular drug is this will it bind better to the dr- uh, target or not even that kind of efficiency is coming in today in the drug discovery market because of artificial intelligence and that is not enough the third approach will blow your mind the third approach is virtual screening now as you know ai can store a lot of data and it can connect the data points so ai can screen millions of compounds in a matter of minutes and virtually it can be done accelerating the drug discovery process what used to take like years and ten, tens of years can done can be done in one minute that's the kind of efficiency now it will help you identify potential drug candidates faster so if there is a problem in the lungs and we know that lungs has got this particular de- receptor we can easily identify which are the drug moieties which will bind with the lungs uh, that particular cell and have a effect which will be faster which will be at a lower cost and which will be better than the traditional method so this way we don't even need to go and perform an experiment we can choose the drug moiety which is the most efficient and then go for the wet lab so that is virtual screening now the fourth one you must have heard of it and that's called drug repurpose ai can identify new uses of the current drug so for example you must have heard of remdesivir so it was used in covid right so what it was it it, it is actually not supposed to be used for covid but in using bioinformatics tools and ai tools they realized that there can be a potential effect right and they used remdesivir in treating covid so ai can identify new uses of the current drug existing drug by analyzing their molecular structures and identifying the potential target potential binding sites of the disease drug molecule and the receptor so this is the four step process which is being used today in ai in drug discovery right now if you are interested in drug discovery if you are interested in applications of artificial intelligence in drug discovery i will recommend you to go in the link given in the description where we have designed at least 20 plus courses on only on drug discovery 
okay and various novel methods to approach drug discovery if in case you want to learn drug discovery from a to z from top to bottom from basics to the latest the link is given in the description find that out and these courses are at a very low price as low as seven dollars to ten dollars okay 500 600 rupees to 1000 rupees but if you start learning you will realize that drug discovery is the future it is never going to go away if your passion aligns with drug discovery and artificial intelligence i think this is the right time to jump in because this particular field is getting to grow and the future is where more than 10,000 such molecules are going to be discovered within a year, right? So you can be a leader of this renasha, this revolution, if you invest in learning drug discovery today. So what are you waiting for? Link in the description, find that out. And if any questions, feel free to comment below or reach out to me at shaker at biotechnica.org. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.